All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about Boyle's Law. Now, Boyle's Law basically describes the relationship between volume and pressure of a gas, okay? So, the volume of a gas decreases proportionally as the pressure increases at constant N. N means mole, so, you know, you're not changing the number of molecules. And T, or temperature, so the temperature has to remain constant. So, what is this basically saying? Is that the volume of a gas will decrease proportionally um, as the pressure increases, okay? And so if you, like for example, if you have a, a container, right? Now this container um, consists of a volume that is, let's say 1.0 liters, right? And it's being exerted by amount of pressure on the lid. So let's just say there's a lid here. And the pressure of the lid is 1.0 atm. All right, and let's just say that you um, increased this pressure to 2.0 atm. What happens to the volume? Well, the volume of the gas will decrease proportionally as the pressure increases. All right, and so if the pressure increases by it doubles, well, the volume will be cut in half, all right? And so the volume in this case will be 0 0.5 liters, all right? And so there is a, um, in in, there's an inverse, not indirect, there's an inverse relationship between um, volume and, and uh, pressure, all right? And so as one goes up, the other one goes down. And so though, how do we show this mathematically? We say that, um, pressure one times the volume one is equal to pressure two times the volume two. All right. Um, and so what does it mean? So the one and two is basically the before and after, right? The reactant products, that, that type of idea. So you have pressure and volume before whatever process is taking place, whatever change is taking place is equal to pressure times the volume of the, of what happens after the process has taken place. All right. And so let's kind of, let's kind of go through a, a practice problem. And so that way you could kind of see how we could go about use this equation. All right. So, um, let's just say a, a typical, a typical car, right? The fuel air mixture in a cylinder is compressed. So from 1.0 ATM to 9.5 ATM. Okay. If the uncompressed volume of the cylinder, all right, is 750 milliliters. So the uncompressed so at the very beginning, uh, what is the volume when it's fully compressed? So 2V2, which we're trying to figure out. All right, so with these problems, oftentimes that you're gonna be given three and you just gotta solve for the last one. So if you noticed, we got in um, pressure one because it started um, uncompressed at 1.0 ATM, Two, when the piston actually completely compressed, um, it's 9.5 ATM. So now the question is, what is the volume of the second one? And so we could use this equation to help set things up accordingly. All right. And so here, right here is pressure one. All right. Here, right. This is pressure two. Um, this is your first volume. And so now we're looking for volume two v2 so this is what we're looking for all right and so we could go ahead and um, set this up accordingly right if we're solving for v2 then i would say that v2 is equal to p1 times v1 over p2 all right and i will plug in those numbers as i see it so v2 is equal to p1 which is 1.0 atm times v1 which is 750 milliliters divided by P2, which is 9.5 ATM. All right. And if you notice the ATMs will cross out, which that's exactly what we hold for. All right. So that way what's left, what's last um, is milliliters. So we have milliliters left. Okay. So, now in your calculators, you'll just simply take the 1.0 times 750 and divide it by 9.5. Uh, and this will give you 
the volume uh, when it's completely compressed. So we put this in the calculator and we'll get. So the answer you will get once you put this in the calculator and hopefully you did it correctly, you get about 79 milliliters, which makes sense, right? Um, so if you expect that the, the pressure to increase, well, your volume has to decrease compared to what it looked like prior to uh, it being compressed, right? And so 79 milliliters is the final answer to this one. So this is Boyle's Law.